cyber attacks and both for government uh, websites as well as in uh, concerns on, on scams and all those kinds of things. Right. Um, yung cyber, cyber threat landscape has been increasing. No? And in fact, the, the cyber attack um, uh, all over the world actually um, has, has been um, quite uh, um, ex extensive ransomware attacks, um, DDoS. Um, a lot of spear phishing uh, going on. Um, this is a worldwide, uh, it's not a phenomenon. Uh, it's really because cybercrime is very profitable. And uh, the criminal syndicates are operating uh, because they, are, they feel that if they are able to generate uh, huge amounts of uh, revenue from, from this sector. So we're working uh, with our uh, bilateral partners, uh, other countries, um, in a global effort to address uh, this growing concern. Um, there is, uh, we're currently already a member of uh, the anti-ransomware uh, group, which is actually spearheaded by the United States. So. Sila, sila rin kasi maraming na biktima rin sa kanila. Um, mga casinos nila, in fact, mga defense contractors nila na ransomware rin. Uh, so, uh, medyo, eto mga sindikato is very well funded, uh, very organized. Uh, Na-explain ko kanina no? how, they, how they actually are set up. So, we, we will have to be more proactive in our approach in dealing with uh, these uh, the cyber criminals. Uh, locally, ang nangyari po, marami na kaming mga nirail uh, together with uh, the law enforcement agencies. We provide the uh, intel uh, and the information to PAOCTIE, to NBI, to PNP, CIDG, um, to, in order for them to be able to go after these groups. So, um, marami na pong nahuli at um, di, actually libo-libo na po no? ang mga naka-detain. Ang problema na lang ngayon is uh, saan namin nilalagay no? yung mga uh, na-detain na mga suspects uh, dahil um, kulang po, no? wala tayong lugar sa mga presinto uh, upang malagyan sila dahil pag isang raid po noon, anim na raan, you know, limandaan uh, na, na mga tao. So, yeah. um, that, that's, that's, pero problema na po yun ng law enforcement na at ng ano. And for the foreigners, eh, diretso po yun sa immigration detention. Dahil karamihan sa kanila, eh, first, walang working permit. At second, illegal ang ginagawa nila. So, violation of their immigration, uh, of their visa and immigration status. So, nakadetain sa immigration. Napupunong na rin sila. Uh, sir, like, uh, to continue on that, you think uh, cyber attacks uh, in the Philippines will intensify siguro next year? It, it will continue to increase. And so, we just need to continue to increase our, our defense and our proactive uh, efforts in going after them as well as in protecting our infrastructure. So, that's where we actually would require uh, congressional support in order to build up um, napaka pernicious no in itong um, cyber security threats at uh, very well funded po ang mga criminal organizations so we need to respond them with the same amount of um, or in fact even more resources than they have alam niyo po yung mga na-confiscate na mga uh, e-wallets at saka mga crypto wallets eh, amount to billions of pesos. So, so this is this is a very lucrative uh, industry for cyber criminals. At kung wala akong pondo ang law enforcement, walang pondo ang DICT in order to increase our cyber security posture as well as provide us with the tools in order to go after them. Eh, lalong lalago at lalong lalaki ang negosyo nitong mga criminals at mas marami pang mabibiktima na mga kababayan natin. Uh, uh,